Well, I'm the chief engineer of the EVA branch of the astronaut office, and I support for the astronauts anything associated with EVA. And uh, obviously at Desert Rats, we simulate a lot of EVA associated with the rover that we're testing and the rover operations. Um, so this year at Desert Rats, I'm going to be one of the test subjects in the rover for a week, with, paired with a geologist. And then I'm also going to spend a week as a traverse director uh, helping to run the test from outside the rover. Wow, wow. It sounds like you've got a really uh, busy couple of weeks coming up for you. Um, so what are some of the things that you're doing uh, here at the dry runs to help prepare uh, for the field testing? Right now, we're talking through all the procedures that we need to have to be able to operate the, the systems. Um, the portable excursion module that we're in, in here with the building with uh, has a full day of activities that we're going to participate in. And we've been going through for each of the workstations what sort of things we need to have documented in a procedure so that when we look on the computer, we can see what we need to do. Um, we're, we've been doing that this week with, with the rover uh, and all the other pieces of hardware. And it's kind of in preparation for a couple of weeks from now when we're going to do an integrated dry run where we all get together and we get in our positions and we simulate what we're going to do uh, out in the desert and just practice. Have you gotten to practice driving the rover? I have got to practice driving the rover a few times and, and I need to practice more. Um, there's two rovers and I'm going to be in rover A and they drive a little differently and the, of course they're run by a computer system and the computer systems uh, operate a little bit unique from each other so I'm looking forward to getting to spend a couple of days in rover A and just learning you know all of its little noises and, and uh, how you know how often you have to reboot the computer to to make it move and, and stuff like that. Very cool. Well, uh, and to cap this off, uh, I, I'd like to hear a little bit about what your path was to NASA. How did you get uh, to working here and at the job you're in right now? Well, I went to Texas A&M University, uh, studied aerospace engineering, and I worked for two different professors while I was there uh, as a junior and a senior. And one of those professors formerly worked at NASA and he had a lot of friends uh, that still worked down here. So whenever I graduated and I started interviewing for different jobs around the country, um, the, the, the person I interviewed with from a company down here at NASA, um, he, he uh, got to know me through the professor that I worked for and offered me a job. And I always liked uh, manned space flight and exploration. And plus my family and my wife's family lived in the Houston area. So. That's how I came down here. That was 23 years ago, and I've been working here ever since. Very cool. Well, thanks for joining us today, Chris. You're welcome. Okay. See you again in a couple of weeks. Yes, we will see you again. <laughs>